Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and you may remember a couple of months ago Azus unveiled the ROG bus or the ROG bus. Well, we went down and saw it, but they've now taken it one step further. They actually have a new and improved bus. This is completely new. Uh, it's actually a little bit bigger than the last one and they've done a few changes to it. But I know you're not here to check that out. You want to see exactly what hardware they've got here. So the main thing that I've been looking at is this beast here. This is the RTX uh, I guess Matrix Platinum. So this is an RTX 2080 Ti. Obviously the last Matrix Platinum that we did see was the 980 Ti. For some reason they did skip the 10 series but now they've gone straight onto this. So just a, a little bit of information about it. Obviously it is an RTX 2080 Ti. It does have 11 uh, gigabytes of memory and it is an absolute beast. Now it's actually a bit of a hybrid because it does have uh, air, cool, air cooling and liquid cooling as well. And we're trying to find some information that we can put up on screen just to kind of show you that because as you can see it is inside a case and we can't get it out right now. But we are trying to persuade Azus that in the future we can have a proper look at this. But we are being told that might not be possible. This is actually the only one in the UK at the moment uh, there is one in Germany we're told as well and in terms of pricing we're told it's going to be about sort of 1700 pounds maybe but that is still to be confirmed uh, we actually saw the overclockers UK have it uh, not even as a pre-order I think they've just literally got the the listing page up at that price for some reason eBuyer have got it at 1500 pounds but you know we can all hope and dream so yeah, this is the card itself. So in terms of obviously what it looks like, it's triple fan design, it's absolutely huge. Uh, it does actually only take up two slots uh, in terms of expansion bays, but because of the size of the cooler, obviously having that hybrid solution, it does actually take up kind of two and a half to three slots in your case. Now there is a backplate on there which does have RGB and obviously there is RGB on the Republic of Gamers logo at the top as well as on the front and I've got to be honest it actually looks really really nice. In terms of power yes it is a bit of a beast you're going to need two 8 pin power connectors but if you're buying a card like this I'm pretty sure you're going to have a power supply to power it. I mean speaking of power supplies Azus actually have their Thor power supply which would suit this absolutely perfectly. Now there are a few other things that I want to show you so let's move over and take a look at them. So moving over to the other side of the bus, this is where we find the Helios, which is the latest chassis or case from, uh, from Azus. Fun fact, we've actually just done a review on this and we gave it an Editor's Choice Award. Yes, it is expensive at £250, but look at what you get. So you get triple uh, tempered glass on here, including this amazing panel on the front featuring the uh, Azus Strix kind of OWL logo, Republica Gamers down the bottom, and this is all Aura Sync as well. It does have a strap, so you can obviously carry this to your LAN gaming events, but I'll be honest, once you've got this amount of kit in there, yeah, you're going to be lucky to be able to lift this on your own. I'd probably get a skateboard to wheel it around if it was me. Uh, inside, this is actually built by one of Azus's reps, Sean, and he's put two 2080s in here. It's got an i7-9700K. Uh, it's also featuring the Cor Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB memory, which we also have looked at in the past as well. And it's got their AIO cooler and the funky uh, Azus uh, NV-Link bridge on there as well. So not kind of the top, top end. Obviously, it's not HEDT. It hasn't got 2080 Ti's in there, but this is still a £4,000 system. Just the chassis alone with the brushed aluminium and the tempered glass, as I say, two 250 quid but you do get full USB 3.0 um, 3.1 sorry on the top including type C so this isn't a chassis I guess for the faint-hearted but anyone who wants something that looks absolutely you know amazing and ties in with the whole kind of our uh, Azus ROG kind of you know ecosystem this is going to be perfect for it obviously we have got other Azus components in here including the Thor 1200 watt power supply probably a little bit overkill for this but it's always nice to have that bit of headroom if you want to upgrade at a later date there you go guys, we're going to have a lot more coverage from Insomnia i64 where we are right now aboard the ROG bus. We'll be looking at other brands as well as a few other bits that Azus have here as well. So be sure to check them out. See you later guys, take care, bye bye.